All right, guys, welcome to moving day at the Open Championship. Today, we are going to be doing round three at Royal Liverpool here. We are up near the top of this. In fact, I think we might be leading this. Uh, I genuinely don't even remember. Yes, we are. We're leading by two shots over Tony Finau, I believe. It was Tony Finau and one other person I can't exactly remember. But we're in four to seven mile hour winds on tournament conditions, of course, uh, at Hoylake. And I'm looking forward to this one. I think that we can get the sixth major one here at Royal Liverpool in the home of my great football club, Everton. I'm actually wearing a jersey right now. Get in there. Get in there. Up the toughies, baby. Up the toughies. It was uh, Chris Kirk. That was it. But he's dropped back to 10 under today so well, let's do this thing let's go low with tony fee now so two more rounds here at royal liverpool let's see if we can get the job done son with 313 yards it's just a bomb one down the middle here to start i don't care i don't care about anything else that's a little left but should be just fine if we can get through the rough there on the limit on the edge but that's absolutely splendid sir you couldn't ask for a better start than that baby Come on. Oh, we're winning this thing 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm fired up, boys. I'm fired up. And please do uh, consider becoming a channel member if you want to help support the channel further. You can become one for as low as $1.99 a month. Uh, you'll have access to exclusive videos and you'll get early access to the majority of my videos as well. Whether it's a day or four or five days or whatever. Um, depends on depends on the content that I have going on. Anyway. Let's do this thing. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. 156 yards left for Tony Fee now. Tony, lad. How are you doing, boy? Tony Fee now. Oof. That's a little to the right. Good shot. Hmm. I feel like I just need to finesse this, maybe. Take a little bit off this, and that should be good. That is awful. Actually, it might work out. Go! Yeah, just underswung it a little bit, but it's not horrible. It's definitely a chance. Good birdie chance on the first. If we could extend our lead today, that would be mega. We just need Tony to not chase us down like a rabid dog. And we should be okay. And that's not a good start for Tony. That's not a good start for Tony at all. All right, it turns a little bit to the right. Not, not anything crazy. I'm just going to go with it. Commit. And hit. Come in and hit, baby. We're on it. We are on it. All day, baby. All day. 14 under. And we take a three-shot lead. Potentially soon to be a four-shot lead if Tony Finau can't make this. Come on now. Who's going to stop me? It ain't going to be this, man. Tony doesn't have that dog in him. Tony doesn't have that dog in him. Or does he? No, he doesn't. He's done. Wrap it up. That's the end of days there. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, Get in there, baby. First. Ten on the par for Tony. It's a bogey to start. It's a birdie for me. It's a four-shot lead at Royal Liverpool. With three more bunkers and the putting surface itself. Oh yeah. Banger, mate. That's an absolute banger. That is. Thank you very much, sir. Into the rough it goes, but that's all right. 113 yards. Really minus 20%. That's crazy. You suck, Tony. From deep. That looks good, though. Well, that's all over it. It's a bounce back birdie for Tony. It's definitely got to be a bounce back birdie. But you know what? If we make a birdie alongside him, I think a little finesse could do the trick here. A little 40. Oh, this is going to be perfect, man. This is actually probably going to be a little too perfect. That is so good. It's insane. Come on, Wind. Help me out here. With the sand wedge, Spin the correct way. And boy, does this look good. God, he's shit hot, huh? He's just that good. We're still not closer than Tony, which is insane. But yeah, it breaks a little right to left, I would say. Even though it says level, I think it definitely does break a little right to left. Not Nothing that's worth going crazy about, but definitely got to play it just outside the... Back-to-back -back birdies to start. I'm telling you guys, we are... I might win this by 20 shots. I am on it now. I don't think I'll ever lose any tournament that I complete again. I'm going to defend Augusta. 
All right, we're good. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to defend Augusta. All right, we need, we need to not do what we did last time here. We went straight out of bounds yesterday. So I'm just going to take a four iron off the tee, and I'm going to smack it down there, and we'll be, we'll be A-OK. -okay. We got a ball fly down that bad boy. Just over the corner perfectly. Ideal golf shot, man. Imagine carrying a four iron 240. I wish. <laughs> I would need downhill wind with me to even come close to that. That's insane. And a 270 total, by the way. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm golfing tomorrow in real life, actually. Excited to get back out there. Um, really excited to get back out there. I haven't golfed in a while now. Just everything going on um, with my granddad and on a trip to Goodison and stuff like that. I haven't really got a chance, but um, tomorrow. And the weather has just been shit as well. Every time I've gone to go over the last few months, it's been that one looking a weather, right. shit, course closed, you know, that kind of thing. That's yeah, the way the winter months go, but it's been extremely bad recently um, in terms of my luck. So it is what it is. But yeah, hopefully but hopefully we'll be able to get into a rhythm with it now soon. 50 degree? 50 degree could be perfect here. Ah, big fast. It's going to be a little long, unfortunately, because of the big fast. But it's not actually that bad, really. Uh, yeah, not much check, unfortunately. It's going to be a 27-footer. I would have liked to be a bit closer with the wedge there, but that's okay. Still a chance for three birdies in a row to start the day. A slimmer chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Oh, Tony. That's on it. Tony's found some form now. That's a great shot by Fino. Six foot for a back-to-back -back birdies for Tony. And what do I have? A little bit to the left, or a little bit breaking to the right first, and then back from the, from the left. So I would say... Something like this is going to be the correct putt. I have a feeling about this. I have a feeling about this. No, oh, it's actually a little less. I kind of, I think I hit it through the break a little bit. That's all right. All good in the hood, baby. Fino, he's just about got it in the side door there for Tony Fino. Back to back birdies to bounce back from the bogey on the last, and Tony Fino is back in business. We've still gained a shot on him here today. We're five shots clear. Or four shots clear, is it? Yeah, four shots clear. And we'll take that. Three? Oh, yeah, I only started the day two shots ahead. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Tony's just that back-to-back -back birdies as well, son. Oh, I'm going for the green here, 350. Tell me the wind's not into me. If the wind's not into me, I'm going straight at this. Last two times, I've hit normal drive thinking it's going to be perfect, and it just came up short. The power drive is the play. Unless wind's heavy with me. All right, good shot, Tom. Just what you want at this point around your Big time. Hit fairways, hit the middle. Oh yes. All right, power drive. Watch and learn how the greats do it, my friends. This is going to be what they call magical. That has to be so good. Stop turning. <laughs> it was a little too good. If it actually went into the bunker, I might have rolled up the face of the bunker and came back onto the green perfectly or something, but it was just a little bit too good there. All right, Tony has 80 yards left. He's got a perfect position here. Why is he aiming so far left? He's playing a big slicer here. Look at this. That is a bit weird there from Tony, not going to lie to you. He's trying to spin it in from right to left, but it's not going to spin that much with an 80-yard shot, Tony. I'm afraid to tell you. He's left himself a good birdie chance, though. But we can definitely give ourselves a better birdie shot, huh? How about that? A little long flop here. Long flop Harry, they call me. You know that? That's long. Long flop Harry goes long. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, I'm a little closer than Tony. I just overswung it and hit it fast, and that kind of leads to me being long, of course. It's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Tony B now. Not ideal, Tony. Good effort, Tony. All right, what do we got? We got a little bit of break from right to left at the start. No, I see this straightens out, you know. Might break right at the start is the only thing. I think it does. I'm going to play for that. I'm going to play for that little bit of break right at the start. Oh! I hit it too hard for that line. I think that would have fell in if it wasn't so hard. That's a harsh lip out, man. Lip outs are definitely better in the game now, I must say. All right. Mm -hmm. Ain't no problem. Three shot lead remains over Tony V now. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay.
All right, 520 yard par five. It does kind of slide from right to left. It's kind of a dog leg. So playing 490 today. That's crazy. That's only playing 490. I genuinely think I can get there with a driver and a wedge or something <laughs> like. That's insane. How long does Tony have left there? 214. Uh, maybe not. Let's be fair. Tony did it minus 10%, you know? If I go over the left of this sign. Where's the sign? Dude, I could pretty much go straight over the sign, to be honest. I know. Over the right side of it, at least. Uh, push to the tiny bit. Might still be perfect. Yeah. I need to be aiming a little further left. If I had, if I had drawn that one, it would have been ideal, but... Yeah, all right. It's not the end of the world there. We'll be able to play 7-8 iron from there, and we'll be fine. Look at the bunker. What the hell's up with that? <laughs> the bunker has not... The, the lip of the bunker has not rendered in properly yet. Oh, it just did there now. Is that going to run? Oh, that's going to run for Tony Town. Pretty good shot for Tony. He's got an eagle putt here. 30-footer. And I'm looking to be a little closer than 30-foot. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, I reckon this could be ideal, you know. That is so bad. The hacks suck, man. I really do suck at the hacks. And that is position Z right there. I think a little flop shot might do the trick here. Oh, what a shot! Come on! Tap in birdie here, baby. All night, all day. This is what we do. Back up the hill for an eagle. Tony nearly makes the eagle putt, man. That would have been impressive, sir. But not to be, Salabi. This is the way. It's a birdie for Fee now. It's going to be a birdie for us as well. And we're both sharing birdies here as we look to run away from the field, eh? We're looking to run away. All right, Fee now on a par three here. Let's see what he got. That's pretty good. Pretty good looking shot from Fee now. Yeah, good shot. Birdie chance. Guys, it's. Uh, you know what? It's starting to weigh on me. Not getting a hold of one in this game for so long, man. It's starting to genuinely weigh on me. I can't I can't go on like this any longer. I just I can't do it anymore. It's quite plain and simply time. God damn it, the fasts are killing me today. The fasts are killing me big time. Killing me softly with his hands. That is gonna be an awful putt there. 48 footer. I'm hitting him way fast on the downswing. It's it's killing me. All right, so break in left to right, right to left, right to left. So only the first line is below. The rest of them are all coming in from the other side. So I'm going to say it's actually going to break a lot more the other way. And it's only slightly downhill. To be fair, it is a decent amount downhill, actually. So I'm going to go with something like this. Something like this. Should have left it where I was first. I kind of adjusted and gave it a little less, but... I shouldn't have. I don't think it would have gone any other way. I think it still would have been missing left, but Tony has a chance to get within two here. Get back within two on the sixth hole. Let's see if he's got it in him. Big tone, big tone. No. Only slightly above. Nothing crazy about this putt. Just hammer it home. That's fine. <laughs> we stay 16 under. We stay three shots clear, baby. Come on. It's just starting to get a little nervy now, though. I need to start pulling away. Come on, let's start pulling away from this field. All right. No worries, no worries. Where the hell Chris Kirk go? Fleetwood's third now. Fleetwood's third. The Evertonian had his home course, pretty much. And he's only nine under, so it's me versus Tony fully now. Chris Kirk has disappeared from, from the leaderboard there. He was, uh, I think he was a 10, 11 under at one point, but he's not even nine anymore. That's a gorgeous shot of the sun coming through the clouds there. It's absolutely beautiful. And Fino hits an absolute stinker of a drive. Carries a 216. And that is just, uh, to be honest, quite unacceptable there, Tony. All right, I can hit a full driver here. Ain't no reason not to, sir. That's a beaut. That's an absolute beaut, sir. A bomb of a driver there. 
If the wind was with me, I would have had to worry about going too far, but not when the wind is into us there. That's perfect. 158 left in position A there, realistically. It only has 246 left. Like, that is a long way. Did this man just lay up with a wedge? Oh my god, that is embarrassing. Okay, Tony. Okay, Tony. Oh, I mean, I'll, I don't even know what to say to that. That's embarrassing. That's so good. Why is that gun so far left, then? Did I pull it? No idea why that one's so far left. I gotta be honest with you. Inexcusable. Inexcusable. I mean, come on. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's just inexcusable, man. Fina was taking his third from here, by the way. That's inexcusable. Watch him somehow get away with the power here as well. The dirty bastard's gonna get away with the power, isn't he? I'm gonna chip this in either way. I don't care. I don't care what Big Tone does. I'm chipping it in, baby. You wanna see a little chipping? Oh, good effort. Really good effort. It would have been nice to have that one. That was close. I'm getting better at the chipping, definitely. I kind of have realized, like, it's like, you play, when you're playing a, a short chip, you play for five yards of roll. If you're hitting, like, a near full one, you play for, like, five yards of roll, pretty much. Oh, he does escape with the par. You just knew that was going to happen, didn't you? Man lays off like a scumbag. And somehow walks off with a par still. But we do too. Same score as Big Tony. Looking to close out the front nine here with uh, with birdies, maybe. Three shots clear. Fleetwood's only nine under, so he's not really in the mix yet. He would need to kind of make a few birdies. Uh, but so far, not so. All right, John, let's see it. To the right. Mm, is that going to reach the bunker? Oh, no, Tony, Tony, Tony. It does reach the bunker. I think it'd be fine because he's only 130 yards out. He's not going to He's not going to be too bad there. I think I'll just play three wood here. It's going to run like crazy anyway, so. No point in me hitting driver here. That's a little bit of a pull. But should be a-okay. Leave myself a nice shot in there. Is that going to be about 110? Pretty much exactly. 111. Out of the sand. The bunker's like loading in. I, I've never seen that before in this game. Bunker's loading in as he's there taking a shot. That's so weird. I'm going to play a little bit of a high one here and just try and get this to die at the front of the green. Come on, baby. Be good. Be good. Oh, yes. What a shot. Played it to perfection there. Four foot five inches for another birdie. And that... Could be to take a four-shot lead here, baby. Let's go. Four-shot lead would be nice. It would be real, real nice. Tony Fino from deep looking for a birdie. Not to be. Not to be from Tony. And we are looking now to extend that lead. Is this turning a lot? Yeah, it does kind of turn a lot right at the start. Okay. Right in the middle, though. Four under for the round, 17 under for the tournament, and four shots clear of Finau. Come on, baby. We're not giving him a sniff today. Don't give him a goddamn sniff, sir. Let's close out the front nine with a hole in one and win this tournament, eh? <laughs> All right, 230. It's 198 to the front. I genuinely do believe that this six iron could be perfect here. Is that crazy? That's so good. Come on, that's gotta be so good. Why is it fading that much? I don't understand, man! Why is that fucking fading that much? God. Some of these are going, like, way further right or left than I'm expecting here. Wind's 5 mile an hour, not 15. I probably shouldn't have played a fade with the wind. I feel like that accelerates it almost. Fina's played a beauty here, watch. Hmm. Yeah, it rolls quite a lot. It's okay. 33 foot for Fino. It's not great. He needs better right now. Especially with the way I'm playing. Now a second from right of the green. That's it. Oh! Oh, baby! 
I thought for sure that was going to drop for a second. Good shot, though. It's going to be a party close out the front nine. And a uh, four under front nine. Not half bad at Hoy Lake here. Not half bad at all. Fino needs this to shoot three under and stay three back into the back nine. He needs it. He's missed it. He's missed it. And Fino is falling behind as we head to the back nine. He's four shots back with 27 holes to play in this tournament. He's going to need to start turning it around soon. This hole is quite difficult, I must say. I think I'm just going to take a bloody... I'm going to take a hybrid. I think hybrid should be perfect, actually. Not if you bloody play it that far left, though. All right, at least it's light rough. 216 should be fine. If we went into the heavy rough from 216, we might be struggling to reach, unfortunately. So we're lucky there. We're lucky. That'll be fairly similar distance away to mine with how, how much his will roll here, I'd say. Yep, pretty much exactly the same. So he's going to be at 217, 218. There you go. Let's see if he can uh, if he can put it close and put some pressure on me. He's gonna need to start putting some pressure on me soon, because right now I'm feeling uh I'm feeling like the weight has just been lifted off my shoulders, and we can just kind of go relax and go into uh go into relaxation mode, you know? Relax and go into relaxation mode. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, 206 to the front. I'm gonna go with the 196 because this always like I always overswing a hack. Gosh, why is that going so far right again, man? We lost ourselves a long ass putt here. But like that was only fast 0.6%. Like 0.6%. I don't understand why this is going so far right and left. Right, there's not a whole lot in there. I genuinely think this is an easy putt. Just about hitting the right putt. It's an easy read. Too much pace. Just lifted around the edge and left ourselves a little bit of a tester on the way back, but it should be no problem. Clean up on aisle six. Let's head back to 1869 and play around with Harry Colt, eh? Fino. He's just not making anything today, guys. And that's going to be a problem, brother. Not making anything is going to be a huge, huge problem. Boom. We're making everything. Four under through ten. Four shots clear of Fino still. And if we can keep this four shot lead heading into round four, I really feel confident that we can uh, we can kind of just keep Tony at bay, really. I could putt Tony, but it's five pars in a row for him when I'm kind of starting to sail away with the tournament. He needs birdies. Tommy Fleetwood's... Uh, Bounced off of nine under as well, and no one else seems to be even coming close to making a charge here. So we could be in in really, really a good position at the end of this round. We'll see. No, I'm taking driver is what I'm doing. All right, watch this. This is going to be a magic driver. Oh, God. Uh-oh, that's not going as intended. Into the rough we go. It's hit his foot, and that's going to be an awkward position there on the heavy rough. I don't know what I was thinking there, lad, but it wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> I was thinking if it landed on the fairway, I could, like, run it onto the green. But sometimes you just got to bloody lay up and not be a moron. NLU, though, no laying up. Fino, bouncy, bouncy. Good shot. Where the hell is he aiming? What the hell? Why did he aim so far left? Was it because of the bunker? He didn't want to risk going near the bunker or something? I, I can zoom as soon as it's within 70 yards. No. I'm going to have to play a high fade here. And I'm going to have to try and get this to sit somehow. At the very front of this bunker. Like if I could land this around there. That would be bloody ideal. That's so bad, it's insane. Not at all what I wanted, realistically. Okay. Birdie foot. Yay. 
Well, for a long putt like this, there's really not a whole lot to it. I think you'll Tony Fino. Tony Fino. He finally, oh, he doesn't. I was going to say he finally makes one, but somehow it doesn't go in the hole, man. That is a cruel twist of fate there from Tino Tony. And if I make this, it would really rub salt in the wounds, wouldn't it? How about it? How about it, son? I don't mind rubbing salt in the wounds. God, I should have left it where it was. I adjusted and thought I was giving myself too much. It would have been right in the middle of the hole if I hadn't have adjusted. They call me Adjustment Dandy, though. And that is three pars in a row to steady the ship. We don't really need to be attacking and making birdies right now because we're in prime position here. And Tony's not making birdies either, so we just need to stay where we are, and we'll be golden. There's no way Tony's going, like, six under for the last... Well, no, I'm not going to say anything stupid, because he might go six, seven under for the last seven holes. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, as it stands right now, we don't really need to go crazy to, to match him. So, all we need to do is match Tony. The whole rest of the round, we just got to match, 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 match. It's like we're playing max play with Tony, Tony Fina right now. The approach will be to an elevated green. That's so good. Beautiful little flick. Beautiful little flick there. Now sit down. Light, rough, 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 That was close to being good. That's unfortunate, that is. If it went into the heavy rough as well, like, come on. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, mate! Tony straight into the rough. That's an awful golf shot from Fino. And he can't believe it. He's fuming. He is fuming, Tony. Fina launches one up into the sky. Yeah, pretty good. I wouldn't call it amazing or anything, but it's, uh, it's pretty good from where he was in the heavy rough. It's on the green. Um, no, we actually are not in the heavy rough. Yeah, I was saying it didn't look like we were, to be fair, so. That's good. I think I can make this work. A little 60 degree wedge. 60 degree finesse with the wedge. The lob wedge, that is. That's long. That's long.com. Not bad, though. 22 foot over the pin. Just a little over swingy. A little fast. And that's going to result in being long, generally. About half the distance of Fino, though. So that's a positive, at least. And Fino keeps putting it to 40 foot and just two putting. We'll take that all day long. As long as he doesn't start making these 40 footers, we're safe right now. He's not really he's not really doing anything to, like, scare me or put pressure on me. It's kind of all just, it's all fairly simple stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. Will I show you a makeable opportunity? Oh! That was very nearly it, son. Very nearly it, but uh, c'est la vie. Everything's over so and fast, man. Even the short putts, everything. Four pars in a row. As I said, we can par our way home and we'll probably be fine, though. Especially if Finau keeps playing like this, we are, we are absolutely fine, man. We are so fine right now. Tony Finau absolutely taps that in there. And he has now had seven pars in a row. His round has come to a screeching halt here. At Hoy Lake. He's just been way too timid today. And he doesn't look like he wants to go out there and win a major, you know? He doesn't. 194 yard par 3. Playing a little bit longer than that today. He's playing 206. Now, what I want to do is take some some off this for sure. So, 192 is still too much. I'm going to play a 178. Give me the club, 179. Playing 179. Let that wind hit it. That's so bad. Just can't believe how fast that is, man. That's just awful, mate. It's just awful. I'm gonna play a runner there. That bank in the in front of me is just too appealing. I'm gonna have a runner right into that bank and just have it run up and just be close. I guarantee it's gonna work. And Fina's putting it to 50 foot on every hole, so I'm not really scared of him right now. Literally, genuinely, genuinely, his <laughs> his proximity to the hole has to be something like 40 foot today. All right, watch this little runner, boys. This is going to be magical. All right, watch. We're going to play a little runner. Oh, I'm just talking about a tiny bit too much, man. 
Just that that would have been so good if that was like 4% underswing. I just underswung it a tiny bit too much. Absolutely depressing. God damn it. Three now from 50 foot. Is he going to make one? Oh, jeez. Again, it's a two putt from Tony. We need to make this now to stay ahead, though. All right, it does break a bit. Nope. Oh, come on. I've had three lip outs this round, man. Give me one of those. Good. I deserve that one, man. The runner was a risky play, and it didn't pay off. Our first bogey of the round comes at 13. But we're still three shots clear, at least. And Tony hasn't made a birdie or anything crazy. We got two par fives coming up. It's not the end of the world, you know? It is what it is. That's just a stupid, stupid move there. The runner, I thought, it was so close to being perfect. You know, it really was so close. But it is what it is. Accept the things we cannot change, as my grando would say. All right, big tone. Oh, yay. A big minus 14% driver that runs for 50 yards. Same old shit every time. So 303. I want to be hitting three wood, I reckon. Actually, I think I'm going to hit hybrid. Same ball flight. I'm just going to hit hybrid. Take it a little bit safer because there's not much room on the left-hand side there. Whereas there's definitely more room out to the right. I hit a fast shot, but it should hook it. Ah, oh, hooked it way too much. Lads, what is up with my 2.6% fast? They are killing me. They're absolutely killing me. We're lucky that didn't go into the heavy rough. That's all I'll say. Very lucky that didn't go into the heavy rough. Now watch this hack shot. That is magic. What a hack. What a hack out of the rough there. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It's a 10 foot from the rough. And we are cooking, baby. Let's see if Fino can put one to closer than 40 foot today. That looks good. Tony's back in business. He's put one to 12 foot instead of... Nice 17. That's better than his usual bloody 40 foot. I'll tell you that much. So well done, Tony. He's got a putt for a birdie. Will he make... Will he finally make one? This for birdie. It's not going to happen for Tony. It's not going to happen for Tony. He's making nothing. I'll be a chance to get the lead back to four again. No, really? That turned that much? I didn't think that was going to turn much at all. Tapping paw, mate. Tapping paw. Can't complain too much about that. Par five coming up. Par four, par three, par five to finish. Okay. All good mood, baby. Tap in for Tony. All right, Tony takes the tee box. And he smashes one up there. Well done, Tony. He actually reaches the fairway this time, at least, with the carry. Good shot, Tony. Good shot. 329 yards left, though, so I don't think he'll be going for it in two. But could we go for it in two is the question. I think this is one of those ones that's just a touch too long, and that's going to be in the rough. Oh, no, lost that one dead right. Hmm. If I'd got that running on the fairway, 100% we would have been able to go at this in two, but not from the heavy rough. We're going to have a bad lie there, uh, unless we go up to like a seven iron and lay up. So, yeah, I think that's going to be a layup, no doubt. Bean now is laying up, of course. So, two layups here on the par five. It's a long par five, to be fair. I just had a fast 2.7%, which sent it to the right. It would have been perfect otherwise. As you can see, it's a 46 to 51% lie here with this club. So I do not want to do that. I want to hit a club that I can actually hit a decent distance. So let's just hit a 6 iron up there. Uh, a 7 iron up there, rather. Get a full lie with a 7 iron. That's pretty good. Nice layup. Give ourselves a good distance. A little bit further away than Tony, but I'm... Completely okay with that. Frank, Give ourselves a full well shot. 95 yard did. shot. Certainly rich, so we'll finesse. One stage look very problematic, Play a little bit of a low one because I don't want it to spin. Not know. that it really spins that much here at Holly Bag anyway, but uh, better safe than sorry with that one. Oh. 
It's okay. It's okay. I'm just not playing my best stuff today, man. I, I, I just, I don't, my tempo's poor. My tempo's poor. And that's kind of been, I, to be fair, I haven't had my best tempo all week. We've been putting really well. Short game's been really good, but my, my tempo just hasn't been great. Awful shot by Fina. That's one of the worst 60, 60 yard shots I've ever seen from a professional golfer at least. <laughs> I've seen a few worse ones for myself. All right, Fina. Let's see what you got. Every time, 50 foot putt, puts it to a foot, taps in for par. <laughs> oh, it's the most predictable thing ever at the moment, Tony. I don't know what the hell you're doing, but it's uh, it's pretty embarrassing, man. All right, it's, it's a tiny bit uphill. It's not crazy. It's a small bit of right to left break, and that should be pretty good. We needed it. We got it. Four shot lead is back. Fina, my man, is going to have to settle for a par here. We head to the 16th now. Okay, so we have a bunker there on the left. He's going to hit a three wood. That should be absolutely splendid. And it is. It's just gorgeous, mate. Right down the middle with a three wood. Couldn't ask for any better than that. It is absolutely in the middle of the fairway. We've split it. And we've given ourselves a nice full wedge there. Lovely stuff. Fino's in the bunker, son. That sucks, Tony. Hey, you're trash. That's going to be a layup, man. That's a layup for Tony, and he is really not playing well at the moment, man. Same as us, Tony's struggling. And you know what else is struggling? The rendering of these bunkers, man. <laughs> All right. He's left himself 105 with his third shot. Oh, no, Tony. You want, to see, you want to see some glorious golf here, boys? Watch it on display in front of your eyes. That's short. Here we go. That's not bad, actually, you know. I thought that was going to be short. No! Oh, I thought it was going to go all the way down that little hill there. But we get away with it. It's a big chance here to take a five shot lead, potentially, maybe even more. If he now can't get up and down from here, he's going to be walking off with a bogey, and we could have a, we could have a two shot swing here. This could be over before the fourth round starts. And Finau's all over the shop. It's embarrassing from Finau. It's embarrassing, lads. Every shot is pathetic. I gotta be honest with you, it's pathetic. Do I have to turn the AI back up to 100 again? What's going on with you, Tony? You flat out stink right now. Hey! He made one. What a par. He sees par 10 holes in a row, 11 holes, 12 holes in a row here, man. It's insanity. He's just powering his way around the shop. But it doesn't matter. It's not enough. Oh, come on. How does that not go in? I thought for sure that was it, mate. All right, it's still only four shots. It's still only a four shot lead, you know. It's not like I'm, I'm running away with it here, really. Fino's still very much in the mix. He just is not playing well. So I'm not too worried about it. But if he starts playing well, then we're going to have to be worried. There's no doubt about that. Then we're going to have to be worried. Let's see, we got 142. Too much. That's not a good shot, man. Hmm. We'll get away with that. It's pretty poor, but 18 foot ain't too bad, I suppose. For a bad shot, it's not a bad result, you'd have to say. Being out, pumps it up there, lad. Well done. 36 footer for Tony. Tony just loves a long putt today, man. I wish I could see his proximity to the hole. Like, I guarantee you it's like 50 foot. <laughs> no, it's not quite 50, but it's going to be like 40 foot, genuinely. I've done that, but it's just... <clears throat> All right, it was spot on on the speed, but just didn't give it enough break realistically, and that's going to be a tap in there. Nearly missed the tap in. <laughs> All right, 17. Let's try finish 18. Let's finish with a party 18 under, and that would be... What, a six under round of golf, I think? Or would it be? Was I 13 under? I think I was 13 under starting. Yeah, I was 13 because Tony was 11. Alright, let's, uh. Oh, 
than five deep pocket uh -oh. in play. At least it went left instead of right. It's better that it went left. It's better that it went left, but it's going to be a layup. No doubt about that. It's going to be a layup. A battle at Hoy Lake. Between myself and Fee now. <laughs> you lucky boy, Tony. You lucky boy, sunshine. 355 yards left still. What a pathetic drive that is, man. That is truly embarrassing. He's going to watch. He's going to hit this out of bounds. He's going to hit this out of bounds. I'm calling it. Tony's going to hit this OB. No, he's fine. He's fine. It's safe as you like. It's safe as you like from Tony. I'm going for it, boys. I'm going for it. I mean, obviously, I can't go for it. I'm joking. Uh, right. I'll aim. What if I aim at this tower? Is that okay? I feel like I can't aim a little bit right at that. I think I got to hit a 9-iron or something. Yeah, I'm just going to go over here with like a 9-iron. I actually do need to hit it over at that tower if I'm taking a 9-iron. And that's going to be absolutely perfect, mate. Safe shot. Lay up. So one, yeah, 160 yeah, left. I think I have to hit that. I don't think that's enough, man. I think it's going to be more like something like this. God, that sucks. Should have just hit the 9-iron. <laughs> but hit the 9-iron like that would have been perfect, man. Tony, 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 Tony. Pathetic, mate. Absolutely pathetic. He's been like that all day. All of his wedge shots, all of his iron shots have just been shit. It's plain and simple. He's been putting it to 25 to 50 foot every time, man. It's embarrassing. It's poor. And you can't really say much more than that. It's been pathetic. But he's going to make the birdie putt. He's going to make the birdie putt. He's going to make it interesting on Sunday. Because we are not going to make a birdie here unless we chip in. So we, it's going to be a three-shot lead unless we chip in here heading to the final round. And that makes things a little bit more interesting. That's for damn sure. But I think a chip in is on here. On, dude how many times are we gonna burn the edge or lip out today that is cruel it's gonna be a three shot lead heading to sunday it's a disappointing finish realistically the last 10 holes we were level par after a good start we just kind of tony never really pushed me to be better that's the problem like he never really pushed me to be better that round and that kind of hurt that hurt me more than helped me i feel like but i mean i'll take it he didn't bloody store me away either but um I was just playing timid golf the last 10 holes, which is disappointing. But anyway, we're going to win the Open Championship here and uh, fire ourselves back up the official World Golf Rankings as well. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the real near future for the final round of the Open Championship. We'll be back for that, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.